Please stay standing for the presentation of colors. about a round of applause for our Adams County Sheriff's Office Honor Guard. I'm Sheriff Rick Ragenborn. Welcome and thank you for attending. I'm honored to be speaking with you today on such a momentous occasion as we honor our fallen deputies and remember the sacrifices they made in the honor of duty. In 1980, I'm sorry, in 1958, President Eisenhower declared the first day of May as Law Day, which is today. In 1962, Congress enacted and President John F. Kennedy signed into law a joint resolution declaring and proclaiming May 15th as Police Officers Memorial Day, a day to honor the men and women in law enforcement who paid the ultimate price, laying down their lives in the line of duty for safety and the protection of others. A Greek philosopher once said, the bravest are surely those who have the clearest vision of what is before them, glory and danger alike, yet notwithstanding, go out and meet it. This is our wall. The Adams County Sheriff's Office began 120 years ago, serving and covering 1,100 square miles, providing law enforcement services to our residents and those who travel through Adams County. The first Adams County Sheriff's Office Memorial Wall was located at 1901 East Bridge Street in Brighton. It was dedicated on July 10, 1989 by Sheriff Edward Camp. It contained three names of the deputies who had fallen and died in the line of duty, serving in the Adams County Sheriff's Office. During a history search of the Adams County Sheriff's Office, a fourth name was discovered. It was later added to the wall. Sheriff Doug Dar was the one to name that on the memorial wall, as did Mike McIntosh with another name. We all agree six names on a memorial wall is too many. One is too many, and we pray that we'll never add another name to any wall. Today, May 6, 2022, we chose as our opening memorial wall 
so our family members could travel to Washington, D.C. next week for Police National Memorial Week, as well as the names of the fallen heroes that we added to the next police memorial wall. It is our honor and our duty to remember the deputies that gave their lives to protect the citizens of this great county. While we have six names on the wall here and at the National Wall, there are over 23,000 names of our fallen brothers and sisters who gave their full service and ultimately gave their lives. Each leaving behind family members, we're blessed to have some of them joining us here today. Please join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. I'm going to read the names of our fallen. Deputy Sheriff Frank J. Jackson, end of watch, Friday, August 26, 1960. Deputy Jackson was killed in an automobile accident while responding to a domestic disturbance. As he crossed the hill, he saw that a small car was in front of him full of young people. As he attempted to miss the vehicle, he swerved in the path of an oncoming tractor trailer. The call he was responding to, to turned out to be an argument between two teenage girls whose parents had called for an officer in an attempt to scare them. Danny R. Barnes, end of watch, May 31st, 1973. Danny Barnes, age 30, tour of service, four years. Investigator Barnes was killed when his undercover vehicle was struck head on by another vehicle traveling the wrong way on an exit ramp on I-25 and the Boulder Turnpike. He was survived by his wife, son, and daughter. Sergeant Dale R. McLaughlin, end of watch Monday, December 26, 1988. Dale R. McLaughlin. Sergeant Dale McLaughlin was shot and killed in a domestic disturbance call. When Sergeant McLaughlin and another deputy arrived on scene, the female had left and went across the street. The suspect was asked for identification, and when the suspect reached behind him and said he had something else for them, the suspect pulled out a 380 caliber handgun and shot Sergeant McLaughlin and the deputy. The wounded deputy was able to return fire, killing the suspect. Sergeant McLaughlin served the agency for over 20 years. He was survived by his wife, three children, and grandchildren. One of his children later went on to serve in law enforcement, as did one of his grandsons. Deputy Sheriff Robert Bishop Pollock, end of watch Tuesday, July 27, 1999. Robert Bishop Pollock. Deputy Pollock died after being overcome by heat during a training session. He was one of six deputies learning how to conduct building searches. When he began to feel ill, he went outside and sat down. He then stopped breathing and had no heartbeat. Other deputies on scene began CPR and he was flown to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. At the time of the death, the nation had been in a severe heat wave for several weeks. He had been with the agency for three years. Deputy Sheriff Heath McDonald Gum, end of watch Wednesday, January 24th, 2018.
Deputy Heath Gum, was shot and killed during a foot pursuit near 88th Avenue and Dawson Street in Thornton. Deputies have responded to an assault in progress call at approximately 7.30 p.m. and became involved in a foot pursuit with one of the subjects. The man ran behind houses in the 8700 block of Dawson Street. As Deputy Gum ran behind the house, he was shot by the suspect and was struck in the chest. The suspect was apprehended and charged with murder of a police officer and two additional counts of murder. On October 2020, the suspect was found guilty on first degree murder and sentenced to life in prison without parole. The search continues for two additional suspects. Deputy Gum served with the Cripple Creek Police Department and later with the Adams County Sheriff's Office for four years. He was posthumously promoted to the rank of detective. He is survived by his wife, parents, sister, and grandmother. In closing, this year, 563 names are being added to the National Wall in Washington, D.C. Bring the total of names to 23,229 names who gave their lives to protect the citizens of this great county who have paid the ultimate sacrifice for the price of our citizens. While gone, not forgotten, always in our hearts and as our guardian angels protecting us. Today is the day we honor. Tomorrow is the day that we vow to never forget our fallen. Greater love have, hath no man than to lay down his life for another. Thank you for coming out as we honor our fallen. I am blessed to stand in front of you. It's been an honor having you all with us as we open this wall. It's been a lot of hard work, a lot of last minute changes, and I think it turned out tremendous. I think the showing that you've given us, the community showing us the support is amazing. And I thank each and every one of you for coming out today. We have refreshments provided. It'll be in the Platte River A meeting room. So we have cake and refreshments if you'd please join us there. Thank you everybody.